Hi guys, so we are working on multiplying decimals by whole numbers and we're going to do two problems together today. So we will do one where we're multiplying by a one digit number so you can see that and then one where we're multiplying by a two digit number. But no matter what, we're going to be using standard algorithm. Okay, so let's try 4.1 times 3. So 4.1, oops, excuse me, 4.1 times 3. So I need to make sure it's set up like that. Everything's in the right place value. 3 times 1 is 3. And we know we're multiplying this bottom number by each of our top numbers. So we start with the 1, and then we go to the 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. And I have no other place value, so I just put the 12 down here. I'm left with the number 123. And my next step is to decide where I need to put this decimal, okay? So what I'm going to look at is the number, how many numbers there are before the decimal. So right now there's only one number, and that's telling me I need to move one space. So I look at my 123. Right now my decimal place is here because it's a whole number. I need to move one space. So all I do is one, my decimal place is here now, and my answer is 12.3. And if we think about it, if this is a reasonable answer, we can cover up that point one. What's four times three? 12. So we know 12.3 is a very reasonable answer. Okay, on the back of this, I'm going to be doing 17.2 times 22. So that was a one digit multiplication, now we'll do two digits. So 17.2 times 22. Okay, so make sure it's lined up like that. We don't want to have our 2 over here um, in this place value. We want to make sure everything's lined up nice. So remember with standard algorithm, we are focusing on this number. We're going to multiply the digit in this place to the 2, to the 7, and to the 1. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 7 is 14, so what I'll do is I'll put the 4 down here, and the 1 is going to go up here. And then 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So I need to remember to not stop there. A lot of you are stopping there, but we need to not forget about this other 2. So we cross out that other 2. Okay, we're done with that one. Now we multiply this one. But just like we did last week, we need to remember our placeholder repeat. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4. Let's put my 4 down there. 2 times 7 is 14. And then 2 times 1, 2 plus 1, 3. So now I'm left with adding. And then we have another step, so stay tuned. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 4 plus 3 is 7. And then 3. This is so important that we remember that we're not done here. Our answer is not 3,784, but we know with whole numbers, our decimal always starts here. We look at the number before the decimal, there's only one. So that means we move one space, okay? So I start down here and I move it one space and my answer is 378.4. And if we think about it, that's a reasonable answer. Multiplying 17 um, 22 times, we're going to get something in the hundreds. So that looks like a reasonable answer. All right. I hope this helped. And if not, um, you have a resource that I gave you yesterday on the back of your independent task. Um, and you also have your independent task where you worked out some problems with me, um, so you can use that as well.